Night of the Hunter scared me as a child. The Robert Mitchum character with a great script by a man called James Agee. It was Charles Lawton's only film that he directed. It has a character played by Mitchum who is a preacher, supposedly a man of God, but in fact he's an avenging angel. And he's pursuing these young children through the forest because he thinks they know where their daddy's or mommy's fortune is buried. Robert Mitchum is, is one of my favorite all-time actors, and it's, it's great because I still discover him in things, you know, that I didn't realize he was in. I discovered uh, uh, Night of the Hunter, and I don't remember whether that was in an art film or whether I saw it on The Late Show. And the, and, and the way that Charles Lawton shot him, he looks is massive. I mean, he's like shoulders, frame to frame in that. And, but, and that song, I mean, the counterpoint of that song he sings in that, that hymn, we know from the get-go, this is a sick puppy, a big, brutal, sick puppy. So we're not dealing with that element of surprise. He's just, he's coming. He almost oozes around door frames, and it's just an amazing, amazing performance. I think it's one of the scariest films ever made. And again, by the sheer power of the performance of Robert Mitchum, with no real makeup, just the way he would look and throw his voice and his attitude, and it's outrageous. He's playing a character who's outrageous that you would think of as a clown if you didn't know that he was so lethal. And there's this great speech about love and hate in that film. Rob Mitchum has love and hate tattooed on his fingers. And at the time, in the hip hop world, they had these name rings. So I said, let's put love and hate on each one of these rings. And then I just borrowed the, that speech from the movie.